Hi, I'm Zaman, this is Best Ombre, and today we're gonna to upgrade the SD card on my Rack Helium Miner. They ship with a 32 gigabyte card, which is actually incapable of running all of the bandwidth needed for the current blockchain size. So you do need to upgrade to a 64 gigabyte card and you need to flash it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Before we jump into changing the SD card on my Rack Hotspot version two, I need to talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Mott and Bow. Mott and Bow provide me with this t-shirt right here, which is actually one of my favorite t-shirts now because it's made in Peru. And if you don't know about Peru, they have amazing cotton. Their cotton is just so stretchy, breathable, and it's tough and durable. This color is not gonna fade as much as regular cotton in the washing machine. It's also pre-washed, so it's pre-shrunk, so it's not gonna shrink either. And so it's not gonna shrink, it's not gonna fade as much, it's super soft, it's stretchy, it's breathable, it's really like a win-win. And honestly, for the buck, you're getting a lot for it. It's better than getting one of those five packs from wherever, you know, uh, and then they fade to white almost and they make you look horrible. This fits nice, they did a good job with the, with the cut and the trim, but also, it's the cotton. It's the cotton that's the steel in the show. This thing is amazing. Honestly, it's so hard. The other day I, I found, I happened to run into a Peruvian cotton t-shirt and I fell in love. And I'm like, where am I gonna get another Peruvian cotton t-shirt? How do you search for that? And then, boom, Monbo hit me with one of these and I'm like, you know what, there we go, perfect. Of course you get Peruvian cottons for your t-shirts because it's amazing. So check them out, link below. This is the Driggs. They also make a pocket tee. Uh, I believe they all have Peruvian cotton, but check the descriptions in case. I'll put some links. Uh, definitely give them a shout out because their jeans are comfy. The t-shirts are comfy. I mean, as far as minimalist staples, you really can't beat it. Uh, they're pretty affordable. They're not even on that high, crazy price range either. So, yeah, check out Mott and Bow in the description. And let's get back to this. So we're looking at the rack. Uh, basically, it looks pretty sim simple. It's a there's the um, USB-C for the power and Ethernet, but it does have Wi-Fi. Some people don't like the Wi-Fi because there's connectivity issues. But essentially what happened to me is I wouldn't, wasn't able to register the hotspot. I wasn't able to assert a location. Um, they were basically saying that whatever firmware came with it is not working for whatever reason. So you just got to reflash the chip with firmware. But the chip that they sent is a 32 gigabyte chip, which currently is having issues with carrying the massive amount of data that's on the current blockchain so you need to be able to they recommend now to upgrade to a 64 gigabyte do you need 128 gigabytes you could go up to 128 but it seems like overkill because they're anticipating a transition to light hotspots which will lower the dag size and allow you to continue to pretty much use a 64 forever the reality is though that these are considered consumables which means you will eventually have to change it now no big deal this is a really easy process and it will you know, the, the, it's also why they recommend getting one of the pro cards. You know, it has a high endurance rate. It's meant to be on 24 hours, and it's also, you know, meant to last a lot longer. This one in particular, they say Samsung or SanDisk. I ended up getting Samsung because it was a little cheaper, but realistically, either one should be fine. This one's rated for like 26,000 hours continuous use. Fantastic. Less downtime, more money. So if you're looking at this, it's kind of hard to see, like, where the SD card is, it's just like a little block. But this is actually just tape. So you peel this off and it's back here. Um, I'm just gonna put this here for now. And make sure you check the orientation, okay? So that the image of the card, of the chip, faces down away from the antenna. And some people, there's no mechanism that you can push in. There's some people can get it with their fingers, but I can't, so I'll use a tweezer here. Just kinda pull this out and then bam so it actually comes with a high endurance 32 gig card but um, no longer sufficient for our needs we're gonna swap this out with a 64 gig card now before I put the 64 gig card in I'm gonna need to flash it so I'm gonna show you how that works on my Mac and um, it's actually just like three step process super easy you download the firmware from minted uh, keep it as a zip file and then you're gonna download an application called Bal Balena Etcher, Balena Etcher, I don't know. But it's, you just like upload the zip to it, it formats the card, it flashes it, boom, you're done. It takes like three minutes. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, let's get to the computer. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna Google, 
I need to replace my micro SD card on my hotspot. And it should bring you to this like support page from Minted. Make sure it's getminted.com. Um, and you go here and you're just going to download the latest firmware from them as a zip file. Don't unzip it. Keep it as a zip file and then download Belena Etcher. This is the tool that you're going to need. You're also going to need to turn off the hotspot, unplug the power, and then, like we said, carefully unpeel the tape, take the SD card out, and stick it into your computer so you can flash it. So we're going to open up Belena Etcher because I've already have it downloaded. And I'm going to insert my SD card. So we have Blenna Etcher open, and I'm going to flash from file. So I've already downloaded the file. Here it is. Minted.zip open. Select the target drive. We have Apple SD card reader, 64 gigs. That's us. Please do not format over your OS system. See, it says system drive locked. Don't do this. This is the one you need. SD card reader and flash. That's it. You're going to put in your password. Now I'm going to let this go in real time so you can see how quick it really is. That's it. You're done. So now that we have our card flashed, I'm essentially just going to just stick it in and then plug your rack in like normal and you should be able to add your hotspot and you should be able to register your location and have no issues from here on out. It'll automatically update once it's been plugged in and added to the newest firmware. Uh, so you don't even have to worry about that. Just remember the chip or like the, you know, it, I'll show you. So this side goes up towards the antenna and you're just gonna, there's a little slot. Make sure you don't dump it underneath because otherwise you're gonna lose it down there. There is a little slot for it. With the logo facing down. And that's it. And if you wanna seal it back up, make sure nothing gets in there, no dust. Oops, that's not a great, that's kind of off. Yeah, that'll do. Boom, and we're done. So if you're having any issues with your rack and you just got it, it's probably because you need to upgrade, the, you need to reinstall the firmware. And it might also be because you only are using a 32 gigabyte card. You might need to get yourself a 64 gigabyte card. Wherever you gotta get it, make sure it's high endurance so that it's gonna last. Otherwise, they're gonna get consumed pretty quickly. <laughs> so once it's in, you really have nothing else to do. Just plug it in, wait for it to sync and you're back up and running again. You should be able to assert your hotspot, you should be able to uh, register it to the blockchain and issue, create a location for it without any issues and it'll automatically update to the newest firmware. That will allow you to get this up and running without any delays because I had to deal with that and hopefully you won't have to now. Or at least if you did, now you found the solution and you can get the people's, up, people's network up and running so that we can continue to grow this helium network. This one's actually gonna go out to another location, but now it's ready to go. They can plug it in and get it activated. The other thing you can do um, if you haven't, if you are gonna be bringing it to another location is you can register the device to your, app, your wallet, your Helium app wallet, and then skip asserting the location so that when you give it to whoever you're gonna give it to, they can just plug it in and it's ready to go. Um, it's something that if you haven't thought about it, it is possible. You can plug it in, get it get it synced up, get it registered, but don't assert a location 
skip that so that when you give it to whoever you're giving it to, they can assert the location and that will allow you to have it registered onto your wallet before they even plug it in. So, hope that helped. Thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe, hook it up, whatever you gotta do, let me know. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. I've been doing crypto mining since 2018. 2018. So I've been mining since 2018, and um, it's been a long journey. I've been learning a lot along the way, making a lot of mistakes, but I'll uh, I'll try to share with those with you as well. Thanks for watching. We do here is go back, 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 back.